it's a it's like a racist term to say that like things that black people do. It used to be oh. slang in like the seventies to just. But it's like, also like jive turkey too, right? Isn't yeah, it? that's what, what I'm saying. It's yeah, like just, old slang. What's jive turkey? It's like you full of shit, dude. You like ah. jive turkey? You full of shit, dude? It's just like that's how they before the internet. That's how people talk. Gosh, yeah. <laughs> Some people spoke. It's hey there, yeah. Jack. And shit like that. But like a white person saying that is just like weird as fuck. Yeah, definitely. I don't know where she pulled that word from. It's a black jazz musician slang. Oh yeah. yeah. It wasn't just it wasn't just jazz musicians slang. It's it's people in general use it after a while. It probably started that. Yeah. Way. That no one will be aware of the fact that I'm a honky. Oh no, Twitch, <laughs> don't ban me. I'm sorry, I didn't say it. <laughs> I didn't say it. Black Bruno said it. <laughs> or white Bruno. I don't know which Bruno said Black it. Black Bruno? <laughs> I'm a honky. <laughs> Bruno what? <Watt. laughs> Twitch be like, N-word with a hard R? Fine. But <laughs> wait a minute. The H-word? Honky. Uh, they haven't they haven't banned anybody for honky yet, but who knows? I don't want to fucking Ten before I, don't your it out. I came in as the last participant to this all black panel. With I felt nervous. Mind. Like, are they going to accept that I'm black? It was scary. It was great. I knew that Brian was behind the two way mirror and he had given me some advice on how to be black. He told me to sort of just kick back. Um, don't have great posture. Lean to one side and sort of slouch in the chair. Don't have. I was mindful of <laughs> said he got not that from being him? overly I shocked. I don't think he got There's that from no, him. Yeah, What's that's what I'm saying. There's no shock. Today, as the biggest difference between being black and white in America. I mean, when I think of white people, I think uh, ethnocentric. Very much like my way of saying things is the best, most correct way. And anything that's different than that, you know, I don't want to get to know assimilation you know it's kind of like as long as we assimilate and do what they do we're okay but if we're kind of like off on the side doing our own little thing you might be a little bit intimidating it seems like that's just the way it is this world is dominated by there are two posters among us white people and <laughs> yeah. i don't think it's any way that we'll ever be considered <laughs> equal because they just talk at you anyway mm -hmm. I'm a grown man. He'd be having him talk. Hey, get over there. Hey, get this. Pick that up. Hey, you know he's sitting there like, when can I say the N-word? Okay. Yeah. I cannot that, wait. <laughs> they, both, they both look like they don't want to be there. Well, no, like, he looks like he's just ready no, to say he the loves, Yeah, he just loves that. She, she looks like she's just like, oh, oh fuck. This is fucked up. He's like, oh, this is great. I cannot wait. He's got it loaded in the chamber, bro. It's coming, it's coming. <laughs> he's ready to he fire it up. He can't wait to say it and know, not get like, any backlash. Hey, I'm a man. They don't even talk to the kids like that. There's a world there that I got to have an eye-opening view of. It was pretty amazing um, and very enlightening to experience just a taste of what it's like for the black world. You know, there's a lot of controversy about the N-word and who can use it or whether it should be used at all. Who has experienced an intentional attempt to disrespect you by using that term? That's what I'm trying to get at. Oh, yeah. Have you had experiences like that? Yeah, I used to work as a doorman at a disco, you know, and if somebody came up intoxicated or didn't have the right dress on, you know, just say, come on, nigga. You know, yeah, or, you know, it's a lot more hostile than that. And I just, you know, mm hmm, yeah, that's right, I'm a nigga. You know, it just wouldn't affect me. And that would be the end of the conflict, just like that. <laughs> He said, he said, yeah, that's okay. That's right. I'm a nigger. Whatever. He has experienced an intentional he attempt to up. disrespect like, you. He could say oh, it again. Dude, I've said this before. Listen, listen. I, I don't know. Look. Fuck. I'm a doorman at I know disco. you're sensitive towards anti-white racism, so I respect your, what? your, 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 uh, your opinion here. But, like, white people get so creative when it comes to racism. It just, like, pops off, dude. Yeah, he just, that. on the spot, came up with a story where like he came up with a story on the spot of like him being victim to a racist attack which he just like brushed off so easily it's like yeah whatever man that doesn't bother me, <laughs> that doesn't bother me. <laughs> what Dude, grown ass black term. man that's what i'm trying to get at have, have you had experiences like that yeah i used to work as a doorman at a disco you know and if somebody came up as intoxicated or didn't have the right dress Wait, on disco? you know just say come on i gotta grab him now or, you know, it's a lot more hostile than that. And I just, you know, mm -hmm, yeah, that's right, I'm a nigger. You know, it just wouldn't affect me. And that would be the end of the conflict, just like that. Because I wouldn't give it the power. 
the only reason why people call you derogatory names is so that they can inflame you. You didn't give it power. You don't that was power. The <laughs> people that call you the N word by getting works. upset. You win. And the idiot that just called you that doesn't have any power. My main thing is <laughs> just the to. Thing. It wasn't a fabrication. Bruno was the one who said it to the yeah. black doorman. Yeah, no, I, that's so crazy. Someone said, I'm about to say, he did this shit to someone else. And he's yeah. telling him he's reversing the story. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, wow, Jesus bro. Christ, dude. Someone's supposed to be the fly on the wall and see how whites act when blacks are nowhere around. I'll be able to, you know, actually hear what they say when I'm not in the room. But I'll actually be in the room. Just walk in like a white woman. My name is Brian. I enjoy uh, building computers, uh, things like that. I like fixing things with my hands. My name is Renee, and my hobby, whoa. <laughs> Swimming, tennis, shopping. How prevalent is racism still in today's society? Uh, you know, I want to think that everybody is treated equally, and you know what? They're not. Um, I had an experience where I was managing a girl who was black, and she had the worst attitude I have ever seen. I wanted to fight her so bad. It had nothing to do with the color of her complexion. Bro. Whatever I would have to document to fire her. Bro, I, I thought she was going to be like, yeah, you know, black people really do have it bad. She's like, no. I thought she was going to be She flipped it, dude. She started telling a story from her work. <laughs> <laughs> she fucking flipped it. Oh, that's so yeah, good. Longer yeah. list the way she sure started the story was very sued. different. Yeah, I've been there. Yeah. Yesterday, there was a black guy behind the counter, and uh, my friend tipped him and said, put a tip uh, in the jar and said, thank you, brother. Get and I said, watch how you say that. Only black people yeah, can call it. themselves brother or even the N-word. I don't look at a black person and say, I do harm, but sometimes there's these innate things that I think have been taught that, you know, I shake someone's hand, or orange. it's black, and my instinct is to wipe it or something. I am very conscious of it afterwards, and I feel horrible about it, and it takes work to switch that around. When he said that, I was like, wow. Um, you want guy some? just shaking when he was telling you sure? us that. Yeah, you I'm could sure. tell that that really bothered him. I knew that racism was there, and I thought I was prepared for everything, but when I actually donned the white makeup, I was shocked. Sorry, what did he say? He said, when I shake a black person's hand, there's just this innate feeling to just wipe my hand afterwards, mm -hmm. or something like that, and he said he thinks it's taught, and or I don't fucking know, these people are just... I think he, like... <laughs> I, like, I think he like if I remember correctly, like he recognizes that that's racist. Yeah, yeah. That's but he's like he's, he's just like, like trying to shake his social conditioning, kind of. It's yeah. weird. It's so he's, he's he's being honest, but it's just like you know. Yeah. I don't even understand what this panel is. Like it's just a panel of people talking in a one in one random room. It's just the redditors getting together. To it's just it's like real life. Reddit. The white plight, dude. <laughs> The songs on stream torture and two brothers making them watch this shit. Lol. Are you kidding me? They love it. What the fuck are you talking about? This is this is true entertainment, this bro. You, how fucked up that this man does not recognize that Ice Cube ended racism in America. Done with this show. Finito. Yeah. It's over. Oh man. When he said that, I was like, wow. Um, the guy just shaking when he was telling us that. You could tell that that really bothered him. I knew that racism was there, and I thought I was prepared for everything, but when I actually donned the white makeup, I was shocked. Those focus groups were really eye-opening. I look forward to having someone say, hey, nigga, you know, you're a son of a bitch. I hate you, nigga. And expect me to get all freaked out about it. And I just look at him and go, gee, why, why, why did you call me that? <laughs> and that would be about? the end of it. No, no, no. This guy is like, actually, like, uh, what the fuck is he even talking about? Bro, he literally thinks. What, what is, is he, he talking okay, about? Okay, welcome. First of all, welcome to white people. This dude is just. Like, this dude is just. He's a liberal, too. Like, that dude straight up thinks that racism starts and ends with someone calling him, like, thinking he's a black man and calling him the N-word. 
Yeah, no, but before he, he was like, I, that's, I expected that to happen, and all these things were supposed to go what happened. It's been one day, and you've been in a room around other black people. What the fuck is he on? Yeah, and he's going to be chasing that high because like he's, white people love to be oppressed. Okay, this is a fucking fantasy for him in the sense that like he gets to be he gets to be oppressed as a black man, but also simultaneously he's like, you know, uh, he's also simultaneously going to be like, oh well, it's not a big deal because like it's not going to give I'm not going to give it power, and it, it's only impactful if you give it power. The ultimate goal, the ultimate point that he's making. Is straight up that like the n-word has no power uh, and it's only like the black people who won't give up uh, you know thinking about uh, slavery and then and, and you know caring about the n-word yeah <clears throat> sure yeah like that's the that's the thing is like racism solved don't be offended it, like a lot of people just straight up think mm -hmm. because they have no way of comprehending what systemic racism is like and they've never really thought about it from an empathetic point of view, or more importantly than that, never been in a diverse environment where they've mm -hmm. like actually been around black people as peers, as equals, as yeah. friends. You know what I mean? That like they've never had that conversation with a black person, or rather, yeah. they've only had that conversation with like a single black person in a, in a dominated white space. Mm -hmm. So that black person is already most likely conforming to that white space in an effort to be accepted by everyone else. So they straight up think racism is just a personal slight against them. Mm -hmm. Like an individual tiny thing, like someone being a meanie bobini. That's what racism is. Yeah. yeah. Because you've never experienced it. So you just have no fucking idea. You're just completely disconnected from that reality. Mm -hmm. So you just think, oh man, racism is just about people being mean to you and, uh, and, and people being big bullies. And if you don't let them be big bullies, then, you know, no racism. Yeah. In the focus group, it was interesting that out of the whole group, yeah. Bruno and used the word yeah. nigger with the ER. Yeah, yeah he was the first one <laughs> to say they like that word. They like it for some <laughs> reason. Like Can you keep explaining word. racism to these two people? No, I'm I'm giving the only fucking mm. uh, part that I can explain, which is like the fucking you know white perspective. Why? Like when Not you're like black, white explaining racism. Okay for you men. to say the word then, but when you're white, just. I think that most white people, not all, would love to say nigga in the presence of black and, and not have any repercussions.